Okay, so there might be ways to solve this entirely using Desmos, but I don't know. I think we're going to have to do a lot of this by hand. At least I would. If you've got a better solution than what I do, feel free to put in the comments. But here, I, I recognize that I've got a line. I know that because, um, first of all, they use the word slope, but also I have a bunch of x's and none of them have an exponent, right? So if they're not multiplying, I'm not getting an x squared anywhere, then it's probably the case that I have a line. But I don't see y equals mx plus b here. I see like a, a messed up version of that. So my instinct is if I want the slope of the line, that's going to be the m part of y equals mx plus b. Let me rearrange this thing. Let me get it back to that place. So we could just enter this in Desmos as is, and we will get the line, and maybe you can use some points there to find the slope using that formula. But I just, I don't know. I'll show you why I don't like that in a second. But regardless, let's let's kind of just do what we're supposed to do here. Let's, let's get it back. So we're going to first distribute, and it's kind of messy, but it's okay. So we have 29 thirds x plus 10 thirds plus, don't forget, there's this extra 5x here, right? That's what most people forget. So we still need to combine like terms. We need to combine the 5x with the 29 thirds x. Again, we can go to decimals. We could turn this into decimals. The problem with thirds, though, is then they, they're repeating decimal. And so that makes me nervous, especially when we have one of these like student-produced responses. So let's turn the 5x uh, into 15 thirds x, right? Multiply by 3 on the top and the bottom. And now we can combine easily, right? So what is 29 plus 15? Well, 30 plus 15 is 45, so that's going to be 44 uh, thirds x plus 10 thirds. So now we have it. Now we have our uh, y equals mx plus b equation. This is where I might go to the calculator because I could just put the answer, right? So 44 thirds would be the answer here. Uh, and I would put it as that because, I, again, I don't like I don't like decimals where I have to cut things off for these kind of student re to produce response questions. I'm always afraid I'm going to accidentally break the rules of entering those. You'll see. And if you do this question in Blue Book, there's a whole side panel of crazy rules on how to enter this. So the, if you enter it as a fraction, you don't have to worry about any of those rounding, truncating rules. But I do want to use my calculator to double check that I didn't mess up the algebra. This is where I, it would come in, right? Because I have an equation of a line. In theory, it's supposed to be the same equation, right? I, I rearranged it, but it's supposed to produce the same line. So what I would do here is I would just on a new line enter what I got. So equals 44 divided by 3 uh, x plus 10 divided by 3. Now, how do I know if they're the same line? Well, turn them on and off, right? Turn the purple off on. Looks the same, right? It's covering the same thing, green and purple. They're overlapping. So that's probably the same thing. That reassures me that my algebra was correct. So I know many of you are not going to want to use the fractions here, but if you're decently confident with the rules, that that's probably still what you want to do. And then um, you just kind of double check that you did all the right stuff using Desmos. Of course, again, we could we could use other methods here. We can get some decimals, but I'm a little nervous. I believe that if we are doing this and we get decimals, then either 14.66 or 14.67 would be the correct answer. So there is some flexibility whether you round or not, but again, I just it makes me nervous. I don't like these student produced response questions when they don't have nice, easy answers. The better thing about a fraction is we don't have to worry about rounding. It just is what it is. And so that's my preference. But you know, just as long as you're following the rules and get the right answer, I guess it doesn't really matter.